If there is one game genre that elicits such an apathetic shrug that all you can manage is to move your lips a little bit, it's the maze game. Also known as Pac-Man clones, these games were anything but interesting, except to those whose PC usage was otherwise restricted to Lotus 1-2-3. Sure, a quick game of Queen of Hearts in 1982 may have been more engaging than typing into a spreadsheet, but it was all text-based and nothing compared to what you could get on competing home computers. Enter PC Man, developed and distributed by Orion Software in 1982 for IBM PCs. This is a one-man effort by Greg Cooperberg, the same dude responsible for Orion's other games, Paratrooper, Pits and Stones, and Jaybird. Each of these was inspired by or cloned some existing game, but used CGA graphics instead of just ASCII text, and featured gameplay that paid homage to their source material with an effort that deserved praise. In the case of PC Man, it was an unlicensed clone of Namco's 1980 arcade game Pac-Man, as you might be able to guess from this artwork. Other than omitting the A in the title and calling the ghosts micro-monsters with the name Eeny, Meeny, Miny, and Mo, this is friggin' Pac-Man and it doesn't care who knows it. And it's actually one of the single oldest IBM PC games I own, which was available for purchase directly from Orion via mail order, as well as being sold in retail stores such as Computerland. It didn't come in a box, but instead came in a sleeve with a single page instruction sheet inside. And yes, this cost $35 in 1982, which accounting for inflation today is approximately 87 bucks. Sandwiched inside, you got the game on a floppy disk, and all you had to do was insert it into your disk drive and turn the computer on, since it's a PC booter game and doesn't require an operating system like DOS. Once it boots, you're promptly greeted with a logo and a PC speaker rendition of Entry of the Gladiators. Mr. Cooperberg lets you know what's up with his name front and center, and you're given the option to play with either a joystick or the keyboard. Choose the one you prefer to fondle, and the game begins right away with PC Man already moving. And with that surprisingly abrupt start, you'll note that although it's hard to mistake it for anything else, this isn't quite the same Pac-Man you may be familiar with. For one thing, you start moving right away with no Player One Ready message or intro music preparing you for the coming maze. Also, the maze itself has been rotated clockwise because the orientation of the IBM PC screen was landscape instead of the portrait that the arcade game used. This also conveniently sets the game apart from being a direct clone, which may or may not have resulted in Orion Software avoiding a lawsuit. After all, Atari Soft didn't get around to releasing an official version of Pac-Man for the IBM PC until the following year. And honestly, that version isn't really as good in my opinion, not only due to PC Man using less obnoxious sound effects, but the maze is all squished here and plays differently anyway. Now back to PC Man, the rest of the game is more or less the same. You play a cheese pizza with a slice missing that wanders around dark corridors, ingesting copious amounts of medication while outmaneuvering four spectral souls of the dead. Every so often, you're given the chance to gobble down a power pellet that grants the ability to munch the micro-munchers, making them cower away like pansies and banishing them to the center box where they belong. And if you feel like taking a risk for extra points, items such as candy canes, watermelon slices, and bananas will pop up and tempt you with a siren song of gluttony and greed. Now in the arcade original, you also got cutscenes in between certain levels that provided a bit of whimsy to the experience, but not so in PC Man. Not so in Atarisoft's version either, for that matter, which isn't too surprising, considering the original PC's CPU, graphics, and storage limitations. And just the fact that having a decent Pac-Man imitation on the freaking thing was good enough for most people anyway. But bonus animations or not, PC Man is an impressively competent Pac-Man game for 1982 on the PC. As far as I know, it was the first one to include actual color graphics instead of text characters, as well as including things like music and sound effects, on top of very competent controls and AI that keeps you on your toes but is also forgiving enough to not make you hate everything about computers. Of course, finding the original copy is insanely difficult, so don't hold your breath in that regard, but it's readily available as a tiny download all over the internet nowadays. And thankfully, it's one of those games that's not tied to CPU speed to play correctly. So you can enjoy it on DOSBox with no special configuration required, and on pretty much any PC that runs DOS, period. Yes, PC man. It's for PCs, man, and it's awesome. <laughs> Thank you.
And if you thought this review was awesome, then you might enjoy some of my others. I have covered Orion Software's Paratrooper, as well as a ton of other PC classics and not-so-classics. And I make more videos every single week, so subscribing is a thing that would prove beneficial if it proves beneficial to you. It also strokes my numbers complex. And if you like to be social, we can do social. You can follow and interact on Twitter and Facebook, as well as Patreon if you would like to see my videos earlier than YouTube and support more content like this in general. And as always, thank you for watching. <laughs>